Welcome to Puerto Galera. In this episode, we are loading the dive boat and heading out to Verde Island. Let's see what we can find under the waves. Thank you for joining the dive today. You are watching Creator Hunter. So, Verde Island today? Yeah. Cool. Anybody Center. else? Sorry? Anybody else joining us? No, just us. Just us. So lots of a uh, reef over there, huh? Yep. <laughs> Maybe some... Huh? <laughs> Hello, Judea. Hello, I'm not Judea. You ready for some Verde Island? It kind of reminds me of Apple Island, but maybe bigger. That one is bigger, yeah? I think so. It's like white. Maybe we'll see lots of coral and uh, maybe uh, sea snakes and turtles, I don't know. And a lot more. Hopefully. And of course my guan, my favorite fish. No, you can't have sea urchin. <laughs> You're not going to eat. Pineapple juice! Yes, You ready, Sir Larry? Yes, yeah, sir! <laughs> Boat time! The island of bird! The island of green! Green, <clears throat> green island, baby! Yeah. Are you diving? No! If I see a lot of fish, of course, I will talk to a fisherman. Hello, Chris! Good morning! Verde Island time? Yeah. Can I, hand you, show. can I hand you some of these? Yeah. Uh. All right. <laughs> Let's go. How'd you already get out of the boat? I'm always first. At all, so everybody said if we come to Porta Galera, we have to go to Verde Island while we're here. So, of course, that's where we're going today. We're gonna do like two dives at Verde Island. There's a bunch of reef, and I don't know what all Lot, a, a big, lots of big schools of stuff. So, we're gonna try out the wide angle shots, but either way, it's gonna be fun for me. <laughs> Is that rain over there? A little bit of rain, yeah. A little bit of rain. And the dives aren't very deep. Should be a good visibility. There's Sabang Bay. without getting the camera wet uh, but we're about to jump in the water here at Verde Island at a dive site called Drop Off. There's some uh, rocks sticking out and Chris promised me tons and tons of fish, uh, big schools of fish including the little orange Atheos I think they're called. So I'll put that on the screen if I see it. I'm, I'm sure I'll see it and I'll try my hand at the wide angle uh, video I never get the best colors but we'll play with the white balance instead of the light and uh, but he did say there's some nudie break here and for some reason they're really big so I guess let's go check that out 
So we take a look at the map, and today we're heading all the way to Verde Island, about a 45-minute boat ride from Scandi Divers. Have you ever seen a red-toothed triggerfish? Well, now you've seen a huge school of them. These schools were enormous around this dive site, which is a pinnacle sticking just barely out of the water. I'm diving on the slopes of them, and these red-toothed triggerfish are just everywhere. Everywhere around me, I'm looking for little critters. But these trigger fish are surrounding me and make for some great shots. Now these aren't the dangerous trigger fish that chase people in Koh Tao or wherever. These aren't triton trigger fish that me and everybody else is scared of. These are quite small little blue guys and apparently congregate in these giant schools, especially here at Verde Island. Now along this wall there's just countless species. For example, tons and tons of these gray mores. And there's actually two in this hole. And here's a different one. These guys were just poking their heads out all over the place. You had to be careful because if you got close to the wall and were filming a nudie or something, these guys would come out and smell your camera. It scared me a time or two, but they're harmless. So these trigger fish aren't the only schools here at Verde. There's tons of them everywhere. But the thing that gets me is there's so much reef here, but also small critters. It's like a muck dive and a reef dive all in one. Something that a lot of you guys will appreciate. This dive site's kind of for everybody. I could be filming huge wide landscapes of reef. Then look down and there's a little nudie break. That's pretty great. In fact, this dive site had more nudie break than most of the muck diving sites we went to around Porta Galera. But they had much prettier landscapes all around them. Or should I say seascapes. My dive buddy Chris, he was enjoying the wide angle too. And there's also these barrel sponges that were enormous, some of the biggest I've ever seen. You can fit a small person inside some of them. The flatworms here, of course, made their appearance. Here's a cool blue one that I haven't filmed before. I've maybe seen one or two in my time in Philippines, but this is the first I got to film one. And he's just kind of slithering over this green sponge or whatever it is. Pretty nice shot. But this flatworm was probably my favorite that I've ever seen. It's definitely a new species that I've never encountered before. And it was rather big, not hard to film at all, except for, you know, there's a lot of nooks and crannies on this site, a lot of hiding spots. But besides that, this guy was about eight inches long and a lot easier to film than normal. And he's one of the most colorful ones I've ever seen. This guy had the colorations of like a cheetah, but like a cheetah if you're doing some LSD or something. This guy was amazing. I'm so glad to film him. And since he's a new species to me, I had to try to take some photographs. And they didn't turn out too bad, I suppose. And then look at these giant sea fans. Some of the biggest I've ever seen. They're just sitting on the wall here at Verde Island at this one dive site. They were enormous. 
I bet some of them you could probably find some pygmy seahorses. You'd have to spend a lot of time searching in a fan this huge. Here's a school of little banner fish, or maybe butterfly fish. I recognize these for a Finding Nemo in the little aquarium. Normally these guys are a lot shyer and hard to film, but since they were cooperating, I kind of followed them around a little. They're always a pretty species to film together. Sometimes they like to swim in tandem, and they're quite cute. I found this pretty old looking turtle. Actually, he wasn't that big, maybe not that old, but pretty raggedy looking. He didn't mind me at all. He was just looking at the corals from something to chew on, and he had plenty to eat. This guy didn't get the memo about not touching the reef. <laughs> Now this species of alien ludibrake, I've rarely seen in Dawid, maybe two or three times, but on this dive site they were everywhere. Everywhere I looked there was more, and even together. On one little spot I saw probably 12 of them. It was incredible, it was the first time I really got to film them in as much as I wanted to. And of course take photos. Check out this little baby, yellow-lipped banded sea crate. This guy was hunting amongst the coral and rocks, looking for little holes and crannies to go search for a little fish in. I followed him for quite a bit. We're already doing a five meter safety stop and this is the end of the dive. So I got to follow him quite a bit because he stayed at my level. I think these guys are kind of used to divers. I'm not sure. He really wasn't too worried about me. Even when my lights and my camera got pretty close or he got close to them. He didn't care. He just went around kept searching for a snack. Now these guys are technically one of the most poisonous creatures on the planet. But I don't think there's ever been a recorded death by divers. They're just another cool critter to look at. <laughs> 